Welcome sa ating channel. I'm so excited to present one of the bang for the buck or budget cooler that I think you should consider. I'm so confident about this cooler given the benchmark and that is what we will find out. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Now I have here the ID Cooling SE214 XT. It's also a little brother or younger brother of the SE224 series. Sobrang naging hype ang mga ID Cooling series that comes with a very good performance at a very cheap price. Now again, ID Cooling is penetrating the market with another cheaper cooler a bit smaller than the SE224 with the following dimensions listed here pero ito nga po is sobrang exciting na present dahil we have gathered a lot of benchmark that shows I think if your budget is below 1k or more or less 1k then this is the cooler that you may have lalong lalo na kung gusto mo rin na may RGB ID Cooling SE214 before we will proceed let's talk about the features this is a cooler that comes with 4 heat pipes a bit smaller as I have stated earlier with the following dimensions and meron siyang ARGB support so ibig sabihin you can sync the fans dun sa mismong motherboard dahil meron siyang 3 pin connector or it's compatible with 5 volts RGB. Now another thing na kadalasang hirap na hirap tayong hanapin ngayon are coolers that are cheap yet compatible sa LDA1700 and ID Cooling SE214 is out of the box compatible sa mga new Intel processors na socket LDA1700. But while this cooler is compatible for an extra additional fan, yun nga lang, wala po siyang extra bracket for that. So you may just dig uh, Lazada or Shopee to buy extra fan bracket na universal if you want to fit dual fan set up sa ID Cooling SE214. Pero yun nga po, when you look at the heatsink, capable siya to have dual fan setup. Pero hindi po yan ang naging benchmark natin. We just stick with the single fan setup and compare this with the coolers that we have right now. Out of the box, SE214 is benchmarked in 80 watts, 100 watts, same with the max RPM and the noise normalized. Now, if you want to know about the testing methodology, you may check the link down below. Now, let's move on and talk about the benchmarks. SE214 at 80 watts, there is no much substantial info that you may have. It's a maybe better or not since hindi na ma-maximize sa mga coolers at 80 watts, same with the noise normalized. So that's the max RPM and the noise normalized setup. Pero when we crank up now and go 100 watts, there you have a better data. To have the better preview of how good is this cooler, makikita nyo po dyan that the max RPM, this 100 watts, even beats the new AK400, which is arguably the better cooler dahil nga meron siyang mas magandang fans, low noise fans, the AK400 series. Yet, pagdating sa budget setup kasi, kadalasan sa atin, we always consider the better cooling system over the other. So kung max RPM ang pinag-uusapan dito, you will have the SE214 as the go-to cooler above all of those Shopee or Lazada not certified or hindi branded coolers or common coolers or cheap coolers below 1K or even more than 1K. Pero when we go to noise normalize, there you will have a better data. Na dito nyo na makikita that AK400 totally dominates over the SE214. There you will have now the gap na AK400 is way better cooler. If sa max RPM kanina, you may see that there is a marginal difference within marginal error din na decimal numbers lang. Dito ngayon, sa noise normalize, makikita nyo na it's 1 degrees apart over the AK400. And yet, is still a better cooler compared to those generic coolers from Lazada and Shopee. Now, my final thoughts, ID Cooling SE214 gave us the option that if you are going to settle for the cheapest cooler in the market that works, SE214 is the answer. No doubt about that. Yes, this is not the better cooler compared to those other budget coolers but given those other coolers in the graph are also more expensive. Pero kung titinan natin, yung difference naman niya over those other coolers and yung difference niya over those generic coolers sa ating list 
it's too far. Dito mo mapag-difference na kung magsisettle down ka sa mura, sa mura pero branded. So, there you have the data guys and there you have the option. ID Cooling SE214 is obviously now our king of the 1K more or less coolers in the market. AK400 sana kung medyo mas cheaper. Pero since AK400 is a bit uh, at a higher price tag given the uh, features na hindi ganun kaingay, at the same time it delivers a high RPM yet low noise at the same time pagdating sa compatibility niya with dual fan setup out of the box dahil may included bracket, AK400 is obviously not at that 1K more or less. So it's given, it's accepted. Pero kung... Ang usapan is talagang cooler na pagkalabas pa lang niya, SRP niya, is already at 1K more or less. I think the ID Cooling is the right competitor sa ating list compared to Shopee and Lazada coolers or generic coolers. So, that's it. There you have the data. In the end of the day, it's still up to you guys to decide. Pero kung hindi ka pa nakakabili ng yung budget cooler or cheap cooler, SE214 is, I think, the go-to cooler that you may have. Now, for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.